today we want to talk about what are some things you have been uh, craving for and how has it been for you this year 2020 and i'll give you a list of 10 items and in order of priority you can uh, name them or rather write them down in the order you like uh, is it your relationship with god uh, was it your physical health uh, were you craving for emotional health were you craving for financial health were you craving for joy and happiness and also home life and intimacy, uh, peace and contentment, uh, love, and also meaning and purpose. How has it been for you this far? What are some areas that you feel that are yet to be worked on? Uh, today we are going to talk about uh, financial health, especially for ladies. And what are some of the, the things and tools you have gathered during uh, this period? On the road to financial health and the first one is be a budget person and being able to have a budget this results to being accountable to your finances and how do you be how how can you be accountable to your finances one is getting over your budget set up a way to pay down the debt and let someone ask you accountability questions about your finances and at times, it's important to be sure you know the conditions of your account because at times uh, we find individuals living above their means and this is actually very dangerous. Also, number three, it's important to set up a realistic budget and pay a small amount down on your, bed, on your debt load each month. And also, in your budget, you should not forget to include fun as well as regular fun activities for yourself because at times we work too much and forget to take care of our physical health which we're going to see in another place so financial health what do you think or rather what are your thoughts on debt financial analysts tend to say that there's good debt and bad debt also debt is a bondage and i may not be an expert on this but let's look at some principles or rather some ways in which you can be able to deal with debt and an individual known as Mary Hunt outlines her rapid debt repayment um, plan in her book known as debt proof your marriage and she looks at four rules that are key and I felt uh, they are actually important and I like to share them with you and rule number one no more new debt if you are unwilling to subscribe to this rule you could be on a downward spiral reflect and pray over this then uh, rule number two, pay the same amount every month until all your unsecured debts are paid. And the unsecured debts uh, in this case are the credit cards. Now rule number three, arrange your debt so that the one with the shortest payoff time is at the top and the longest payoff is at the bottom. And rule number four, she says, as one debt is paid, take that payment and redirect to the regular payment of the next debt in line. And we have seen that at times, individuals spend money even that has not yet arrived into their accounts. And we are what we spend. And when you analyze and assess uh, your way of spending the money that you have, this can actually tell a lot about your character. So it's important to ensure that you free of the debts and also weigh and see your options because options are there but we have to just uh, look around and see how well we can pay off some of these debts and hopefully we are going to achieve financial health budgeting and saving keeps one from the terrible cycle of spending and then wondering how to pay bills living beyond your means is actually a form of gambling that we all should keep away from or rather avoid and when we know that budgeting and saving is key, we are going to learn how well we can do these two things. And at times we are out there uh, living lives that are not within our means. And making a budget and starting saving, and if it's not on the budget, learning to say no or later is an important principle. Delayed gratification. Uh, because at times we want uh, 
the quick fix or rather we want things now now and we forget that uh, i can actually wait for next month or end of the year to achieve this so if it's not on your budget or rather you've not saved for it um, you can learn to just delay that gratification